I think you're saving. I think you're saving a forest. Maybe a few branches. Small forest. A few branches. Yeah. The first of two fiberglass reinforcements. It will be like a breeze. It'll be easy. Hi everyone and welcome back to Building Vilda. This is what last week's episode looked like. Axel cut huge holes in both of the engine rooms of Vilda, our catamaran. In these holes that we will soon rebuild and reshape to what we need, we will have a couple of aluminum cylinders. Inside of them is where the electric motors will sit. In case you haven't watched us from the start of this project, we suggest you have a look at our previous videos. This is part 4 of Vilda's unique propulsion system. So, this uh, reinforcement I have to make to get my thruster cylinder into the hull is going to be shaped around this uh, cylinder so it'll match nicely and uh, I'll use this as a mold <laughs> and to give me some clearance I've wrapped a lot of paper around here so it gives me maybe two and a half three millimeters clearance all around so I've wrapped this cylinder in 30 layers of paper and taped off this edge here. What I want to do now is uh, make sure the paper doesn't become part of the laminate once I start laminating. So to avoid that I'll use a plastic sheet go all the way around and then I will use um, yeah, petroleum jelly as a release agent on, on top of the tape. That should make it far easier for me to release this once, once it's cured. That's the plan. So, I'll cut some plastic, wrap that around, and uh, then it's time to start epoxy.
now laminated in, in effect seven layers of uh, 500 gram mat or uh, biaxial onto this. And that's plenty, that's two and a half millimeters approximately, maybe uh, three millimeters of, of glass. Now my plan is to add uh, another five layers of, of unidirectional glass. So I've staggered the joints. So only the last one really is visible. There. There's a joint. But otherwise this looks pretty good. So I feel comfortable continuing and doing these last uh, five layers and then I'll call it a day, do the next thruster tomorrow. I've calculated the diameter or average diameter of, of or average circumference of the, uh, the uh, cylinder. That's how I know how much I need to cut them. When I glue this into the hull, this is all going to be backfilled and supported with a lot of uh, a lot of epoxy and filler. That's going to be beautiful. What I really need is this section of ring. So this is uh, the first of two fiberglass reinforcements that will go into the hull and the cylinder will sit in, in those two rings. So this is now 10 layers of glass, so it should be about five millimeters thick. You can see I haven't fully gotten it together here. I, I didn't see that until I stopped working, but this is gonna get cut away anyway, so I'm not concerned. Most of this upper edge here, where it has drooped a little bit, is gonna get cut away. Uh, I think it might be tricky to get off, but uh, yeah, it's gonna work. <laughs> Question is if I have to destroy anything to get it off. Last time we tried to demold something big, uh, we had uh, limited success, so let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm hoping I've when? learned something since then. When was that? And that this, no, I'm thinking of the, of the hatch surround a long time ago. Oh. Well, the first one. But that's when we were... Um very inexperienced and yes. beginner. and now we're so much better <laughs> <laughs> and last time i laminated something round around the piece of steel that was well i had to cut it off oh the but, stanchions yeah the but this is bases. this is bigger though yeah so this might be easier perhaps there's definitely more clearance if the paper is not glued to the the, uh, the, the aluminum cylinder yeah <laughs> We'll see. It will yeah. be like a breeze. I'm It'll be easy. And so. maybe you want to put it on time lapse mode? Because it might take a while. I'm thinking we are saving these people. After not too much trouble, but a little bit more than we expected, the, we got and the ring off. Patient and methodical approach. Yeah. Of using these spacers. We'll do in it between the yeah. cylinder and the circle. Yeah, we got it off. Yeah. Vaseline and this tape did not work as a release agent, not properly. I don't know why. Space. This. I don't really need this ring, it just helps, it'll just help us to get it uh, straight and, and level. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good to have him. Yes, it is. And I think easier to release him with, with that on. 
Oh, it, it turned out really try nice. Put some clean grab there. Thank you. Yeah, we have to try something different here. Well, have to. We we got this off. Uh, it worked. Yes, but, but this is not. But it's better if it's easier, and nicer. <laughs> the this tape that held together the plastic even stayed there. I think this so. is not a plasticky tape. This is a papery tape or something. I don't know. And as I was making preparations to start working on the second fiberglass reinforcement ring, we received the rubbish skip. This felt great, as for the past months, we collected way too much garbage and material that needed to go out of our shed. So we had to take a break and we started moving everything into the skip. As we probably said this a few times before, on certain days we don't do what we had planned to do, but we do some other things that just needed to be done as well. So the shed isn't exactly squeaky clean, <laughs> but it never will be. And when we saw how nice the place looked after removing the piles of garbage, we started even raking the floor to even out a few surfaces and to avoid tripping hazards. It looked like a totally different place. After finishing sorting and cleaning in the shed, it was time to move on to making the next fiberglass ring, which was already waiting for us.
future boat. We got it off. Now we have to load them into the boat. So what's going on? I'm rolling paper. It's my new favorite activity. So how many meters of paper are you rolling? Well, according to you, there should have been 40 meters around the cylinder. And also according to you, I may have already rolled back half of it, which I'm not sure of. <laughs> so it's like there's still quite a lot left on that cylinder. But wouldn't it be a shame to just throw it or leave it? Or yes. And yes. a good way to store it, I think. Like, I yeah, 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 no, no, no. Your 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 rolling is uh, much better better than my cutting into pieces and folding uh, I'm not sure. the other day. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. cutting into pieces and folding is not. I missed that part. Not as uh, reusable. No. <laughs> Perhaps be. not reusable at all. It's a lot of paper. It's a lot of paper. It's silly it's not to. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Yes, a whole forest. Not sure. I think you're saving. I think you're saving a forest. Maybe a few small, branches. Small forest. A few branches. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What happened to that coffee that we were talking about? The coffee is the coffee is done. And it's ready. Yeah. Does it feel like I'm making much progress fast? No. And we can't really lift it off because it's so stuck. No, no, don't lift it. No, I think it's good the way it works. It's just a little. No, but if we can lift it off, we can just flatten this. This is a rope, but it's a big rope. Yeah, but we, but can't, we can't. It's it. stuck. No. no, we'll tear it. Next year, when you're finished with the rolling, <laughs> no, I, I need to um, uh, get this cylinders thanks for watching we also want to express a big thank you to our little patreon community your support to building Vilda means a lot to us and if you enjoy our progress and videos please subscribe to our channel hit the like button drop a comment down below and we'll be happy to reply thank you so much